So if you ever wanted to send an email that is kind of private to a person and you wanted that email to automatically be deleted after like a day or two, you can do that. It's called a confidential email and you can do it right from Gmail. So when you compose a new email in the window, you will see something like a lock symbol that says toggle confidential mode. As soon as you click on it, you will notice that it has a expiry date and a passcode. If you want, you can set an SMS passcode so that the recipient will have to enter a passcode, but you can just set the expiry as well. So if I set it to one day, then the recipient will automatically receive this email and it will be deleted from their inbox within a day. And as it mentions here, the recipient won't be able to forward this, copy this or even print it or download it in any way. So they can read the message and after the expiry is done, so it will be expired, like it will be deleted from both of your inboxes. They can screenshot the message, but in most cases, screenshots are not often considered as proof. You know, screenshots can be easily faked. At least they won't be able to, you know, take a printout or download this as an email copy. Pretty useful stuff. You know, you can send it for certain applications, but hey, whatever you do with this, I wasn't involved. Let's see what it looks like. Let's compose a test message to myself here. I'll toggle this on, expiry in one day. SMS passcode will be generated by Google. Yeah, sure. So if you choose to opt in for the SMS passcode, you'll obviously have to provide the recipient's phone number. So let me go ahead and disable that. We don't need the passcode. So just like that, it automatically gets sent. It shows up like any other message, but um, it does say that the message is confidential and it gives you just one option to reply. It doesn't give you any other option like this message automatically deletes itself. So I can't, I can delete the message if I want and you know, I can block and do some other things. I can take a screenshot, but again, this saves the, you know, the possibility of this being shared around as your own email within this email chain. And by 8th May, which is tomorrow, there will be no sign of this message in both of your inboxes. It won't be in the sent folder either. So yeah, you're kind of safe there. Pretty cool tip, right? Did you know that before? Here's another bonus tip. If you use Google as your search engine, you can go to google.com and type in Google Terminal just to see what it looks like and say, I'm feeling lucky. You will be presented with a different looking screen for your home page so if you're one of those people who takes pride in being a geeky hacker or whatever then you can keep this as your search engine it supports a bunch of commands too so go ahead play around with it and let me know what you think you can follow this channel for more tips like this or hang out on discord if you have similar ideas to share